Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about oxidation states. That is how the oxidation state varies in D block elements. Okay, with all the exceptional cases and the reasons and all we'll be discussing. So please watch the video till the end. Right. So first this series is written over here that this particular series is 3D series. First very important point about the D block elements is that they exhibit variable oxidation states. They exhibit variable oxidation states. Of course when you talk about P block, P block elements also exhibit variable oxidation states but the number of the oxidation states exhibited by D block is even more. Okay, so why do they exhibit variable oxidation state? The answer to this is the participation of Ns and N-1D electrons. Both are participating. Ns and N-1 that is ultimate and penultimate electrons from both they are participating in the bond formation. Now, why do they participate? Why that in others they are not only in this particular block? Because the energy difference, energy difference between, between Ns and N-1D orbitals, substrates you can say, orbitals is very less. This is very less. So because the energy difference is very less or we can say the energy is almost the same. Energy we can say is almost the same. That is why they exhibit large number of the oxidation states. Okay. Another important point you will find is that in most of the elements. Because majorly we talk about this particular series we are writing. But generally you find that in all the series the most common oxidation state exhibited by them is 2. You can see this is 2. 2 in most of them. Of course there are one or two exceptions. We will be discussing the exceptional cases. But the most most common most common oxidation state exhibited by them is plus 2. Why the most common is plus 2? That is because of the participation of N S electrons. In the configuration of the D block elements, if you check the configuration, majorly it is N S 2. In one or two cases it is 1 also. Okay, but majorly it is 2. So N S 2 or N 1 to 2, N minus 1 D 1 to 10. So in the valence shell, most of them have 2 electrons. And the valence electrons can they they can participate in the bond formation easily. So the most common oxidation state exhibited by all the elements is plus two. Okay. So the 4s electrons they will be the first one to be removed because that is the valence shell. So in a way what you can say is whenever this Ns electron is participating the two electrons of Ns are participating it is resulting in the formation of ionic bond because ionic bond is formed by transfer of electron. So in case these, these elements are going in for the bond formation by the participation of Ns, it is always ionic bond. That means if the lower oxidation state they are exhibiting, then they will be ionic bond. If it is higher oxidation state, that is obviously not the involvement of Ns. That is also the involvement of N-1D. Then it will be a covalent bond. Okay, but as of now what you can remember is the most common oxidation state exhibited by these elements is plus 2. That is because of the participation of or you can say the loss of the two electrons present in 4s. If, if I am specific about 3d series, I will say the participation of 4s electrons. Okay, they will be the first ones to be removed. Got it? So one more thing you can say here is the minimum or you can say the lowest oxidation state. The lowest oxidation state exhibited by these elements is the number of number of Ns electrons. How many electrons are there in Ns? That will be the lowest oxidation state. Okay, so what about the highest oxidation state? Let's discuss. 
okay before discussing the higher oxidation state you just notice one more thing that in 3d series you will find that scandium scandium is the one that does not show plus 2 oxidation state reason being scandium has the configuration of argon argon 4s2 3d1 so for it losing these allowing these three to participate in gaining the nearest noble gas configuration is easier so it prefers losing all of them right so another example another exceptional case you'll find is copper okay so even here copper ka configuration you can see copper configuration the outermost is 4s1 3d10 right so it's having this one electron in ns that is 4s so this electron can participate in the bond formation and with this participation it's having 3d10 so it prefers you know allowing that ns only to participate and hence the lowest oxidation state in copper is 2 another important point you will observe here is that zinc zinc exhibits only one oxidation state otherwise what you find is they are exhibiting large number of the oxidation states right you will find scandium is only 3 because of the configuration copper is only uh, i mean the lowest is plus 1 because of one electron in s orbital zinc exhibits only one electron one uh, oxidation state that is plus 2 because its configuration is 4s2 3d10 then the valence shell it's having ns2 so that is 4s2 so it can allow all of them to participate I mean, uh, only this to participate, and 3d10 is a stable configuration, so this will not be participating at all, right? Another thing you will find here is the number of the oxidation states which these elements are exhibiting. You'll find from scandium to manganese, you uh, the number of the oxidation states exhibited by them is increasing. Thereafter, the number of the oxidation states what they are exhibiting is decreasing. right what is the reason for it the reason for that is the uh, participation of the electrons in the bond formation here i told you the lowest is the number of electron in ns but for scandium fine what about these higher oxidation states this is there but in the d how many are unpaired only they can form the bond because the higher oxidation state involves even covalent bond right so ns ns electrons they can be lost easily so this will form a ionic bond and in n minus 1d as many unpaired are there that will form a covalent bond so this will be ionic bond these number of unpaired will be covalent so in this how many unpaired are there in this one two right so 2 plus 2 of ns so the total maximum oxidation state what this one is exhibiting is 4 like i said the the lowest oxidation state is ns electrons we will say the highest oxidation state highest oxidation state from scandium to uh, mn yeah from scandium to mn you will find is the sum of electrons in ns and n minus 1d that will be the highest oxidation state right now ns and n minus 1d by how many electrons are there like this one configuration is ns2 uh, n minus 1d2 so two unpaired so two unpaired plus ns ka two total four so two three unpaired so two plus three five highest is five Two and the configuration of chromium is not two. In fact, it is four s one three d five. So five plus this, the so total is six. Here the configuration is four s two three d six. The max, the sum is n s and three d six. That is two plus six seven. No, it is five. Sorry, in m n it is not six. It is five. So two plus five. it will be 7 the maximum oxidation state shown by mn is 7 the lowest is ns so from scandium to mn the most common oxidation state is 2 and the highest is the num sum of number of electrons in ns and n minus 1d right so 4 5 6 7 thereafter the pairing of the d begins 
from d5 d6 onwards the pairing begins so d6 will have four unpaired d7 will have three unpaired two one and so on so since the pairing begins the paired ones will not be able to form the covalent bond right as i said ns will form a ionic bond and n minus 1d as many unpaired are there that unpaired can form a covalent bond by sharing this is by transfer this is by sharing so as the number of the unpaired electrons are decreasing after mn we will find that the number of the oxidation states exhibited by them is also decreasing got it i hope that point is clear what i am saying if any element is exhibiting the lower oxidation state that will be ionic bond higher one will be covalent for example mn if i want to say mn MnO4 minus MnO4 minus me Mn oxidation state is plus seven, so it is the highest oxidation state that Mn can exhibit. So in the highest oxidation state, Mn is only forming a covalent bond. It is not forming ionic. In case Mn is existing in a particular compound in plus two state, that is the lowest oxidation state for Mn, like in MnSO4. mn is plus 2 so in this case mn is exhibiting a uh, plus 2 oxidation state the bond formed will be the ionic bond likewise you can take example of dichromate ion cr2o72 minus chromium is plus 6 oxidation state so the bond formed here is also a covalent bond got it now another point about the oxidation state is that the transition elements transition metals you can say transition metals it also form compounds in which the oxidation state can be zero if you talk about you know the coordination complexes like nico taken four times nickel tetra carbonyl or tetra carbonyl nickel that is the iupac name or you can have uh, fe FeCO taken five times, so pentacarbonyl iron. Even this, this is exhibiting zero oxidation. The central atom is exhibiting zero oxidation state. Right now, another important thing is, children. At times, you are asked to compare, you know, the oxidation state of uh, transition elements. Transition elements. compare the oxidation states of transition elements with non transition elements non transition elements so basically here uh, what we mean by the non transition elements is we are referring to the p block elements we are referring to p block elements here of course we are referring to the d block so there are two major differences between the between them the first ox first difference is the in the transition elements the ox oxidation states oxidation states differ by unity oxidation states differ by unity now what is this unity we just noticed here the oxidation state let's take example of say chromium the oxidation states what chromium is exhibiting are 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so the successive oxidation states what the particular element is exhibiting they are all differing by 1 so it's just 1 1 1 ka difference okay now let's talk about the p block elements the oxidation states differ differ by 2 Let's take the example. Say sulfur. Sulfur. The configuration is N S two N P four. Or let's be specific. Three S two three P four. Three S two three P four. Okay. So if I write that configuration in the form of the box, it's like this. Three S, and this is three P. There is a pair here, and here there are one two. these are the two unpaired electrons right so in the ground state if i say this is the ground state in the ground state there are two unpaired this is 3s children and this one is 3p so in the ground state this uh, sulfur can gain two electrons because there are two unpaired it can gain two electrons and get the octet configuration so by gaining two in the ground state 
it will be able to exhibit minus 2 oxidation state by gaining 2 electrons and pairing these 2 unpaired it will be uh, you know minus 2 or allowing these 2 unpaired ones to form a covalent bond right by allowing them to form a covalent bond with more electronegative element sulfur will be capable of exhibiting plus 2 oxidation state that is with the neighboring element with the neighboring element it is able to exhibit plus 2 or it can excite this one electron to D if it is capable of exciting this electron to D there will be one more unpaired electron this will go away so that means total will be now 4 unpaired not one more 2 more unpaired electrons so total unpaired will be 4 right so 4 means the oxidation state what it will exhibit now is 4 in the second excited state, it can allow even this to go into 3D. There will be 6 unpaired. So, in the 6 unpaired means it will be exhibiting 6 oxidation state. So, what is majorly the difference between the oxidation states? What it is exhibiting? It is 2. The, diff the unity, the difference is by 2. Okay, these are the uh, differences. You can take another example. Say a tin. Tin can exhibit two common oxidation state that is 2 and 4. So they are differing by uh, 2. Like another example you can take say chlorine. Chlorine can exhibit the oxidation state of minus 1. It can exhibit the oxidation state of plus 1. Then you have plus 3. Then you have plus 5 and plus 7. Right, you can take the configuration of chlorine as 3s2, 3p5. 3p5 means 1 unpaired, so by gaining 1 as I explained here. By allowing in the first excited state, there will be, uh, no, in the ground state only. In the ground state, by gaining 1 electron, minus 1. By allowing that to pair up with another in the ground state, plus 1. In the first excited state of chlorine, there will be 3 unpaired, so plus 3. Second excited state, 5. Third excited state, 7. So, it will be exhibiting the oxidation states and these oxidation states are differing by 2. This is one difference children between their oxidation states. The second difference between the two is that in the transition elements, we find that the higher oxidation states are more stable Higher oxidation states are more stable in heavier, heavier transition elements. For example, uh, let's consider, yes, let's consider the example of sixth group. That is chromium, molybdenum and tungsten. Right, so for chromium, uh, this group 6, right, group 6. Group 6, the oxidation states, what they can exhibit, already we have discussed, that is uh, chromium can have from 2 to 6, right. So, in them, the chromium can exhibit 3 also, it can exhibit 2, it can exhibit up till 6, from 2 to 6 all, but these are the common oxidation states. Okay, so what we find is that if I consider the higher oxidation state, Higher oxidation state is more stable for molybdenum and tungsten rather than for chromium. That is what we say. Higher oxidation state are more stable in heavier transition element. What are the heavier transition element in group 6? Chrom the chromium and molybdenum. The so chromium and molyb no, molybdenum and tungsten. Sorry. So molybdenum and tungsten, they are more stable in plus 6 oxidation state than chromium. So, chromium in 6, chromium if it is in 6, it will be having a tendency to get converted into Cr3+. It will act as a oxidizing agent. In plus 6 oxidation state, chromium will act as an oxidizing agent and will itself get reduced to Cr3+. They cannot, uh, I mean the first one, the heavier ones can exhibit the highest oxidation state. But in case I talk about the P-block elements, in P-block elements, in P-block elements, uh, the heavier element, heavier, heavier element cannot exhibit, cannot exhibit 
द हाइएस्ट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट द हाइएस्ट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल फॉर इट से वी राइट डाउन थैलियम थैलियम इज अ मेंबर ऑफ ग्रुप थर्टीन द मोस्ट कॉमन ऑक्सीड फॉर ग्रुप थर्टीन द ऑक्सीड द कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज एन एस टू एन पी वन तो द हाइएस्ट शुड बी थ्री एन एस टू एंड एन पी का सम बट थैलियम एक्सिबिट ओनली वन प्लस वन एज द हाइएस्ट इट डज नॉट यू नो अलाउ दिस टू पार्टिसिपेट लेट्स टेक ग्रुप फोर्टीन ग्रुप फोर्टीन द लास्ट एलिमेंट इज लेड ग्रुप फिफ्टीन लास्ट एलिमेंट इज बिस्मेथ ओके ग्रुप दिस इज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज एन एस टू एन पी टू इट डज नॉट एक्सिबिट फोर द एक्चुअल हाइएस्ट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट शुड हैव बीन फोर बट लेड एक्सिबिट ओनली टू एज द मैक्सिमम ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट बिस्मेथ फिफ्टींथ ग्रुप कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज एन एस टू एन पी थ्री शुड बी एक्सिबिटिंग फाइव बट इट एक्सिबिट्स ओनली टू द थिंग इज इन ऑल ऑफ देम दिस एन एस इलेक्ट्रॉन does not participate in the bond formation it is because of inert pair effect due to inert pair effect this ns electron does not participate so suppose you are asked to write down compare the oxidation states of transition with the non transition elements children you will be writing these two differences oxidation states differ by unity in transition elements and in non transition elements they differ by two Second difference you'll write transition elements may the heavier the heavier elements are capable of exhibiting the highest oxidation state whereas in non transition elements the heavier element cannot exhibit the highest oxidation state that is because of inert pair effect okay i hope this is clear children right so in this session children i have completed the oxidation state in another video i will be explaining the electrode potential variations okay how does the electrode i mean like for some uh, ions you know two is more stable for some one is stable and all those questions we will we'll be discussing okay thank you